Hey there! This time, I'll be covering the scientist goals that Dominion players can complete on Crimson Isle. There are three path missions in this zone, as well as an Elden Construct and a puzzle that bars the way to one of Crimson Isle's hidden data cubes. I'll show you where to find each one following the order of the quest route, but if you're looking for something specific, feel free to check out the links in the description below and jump right to the part you need. The first goal, a botany mission called Blood Petal Properties, can be completed right at the start of the zone on Mondo's beachhead. Look for tall red flowers called Blood Petals that show the scientist scannable icon when you get close. Target any blood petal flower and scan it to unlock the mission. Note that the blood petals will create a green zone in a small area around the flower shortly after being scanned. This will give any player standing nearby the 30 second blood frenzy buff, which heals over time and gives the player's attacks a 35% chance to inflict bleeding. You only need to scan 4 blood petals to complete the mission, but you can keep scanning them for the buff even after the goal is complete. This is primarily useful at the start of the zone, as that's where most of the blood petals are. But there is at least one more flower tucked away in Bloodstone Canyon, conveniently close to Venom Bite Pass. Next up is a biology mission, Dreg Decryption. As the name suggests, this is unlocked by scanning the local Dreg, which you can find in and around Scarhide Camp. My run required around 6 scans to complete, but it does appear that different types of dreg contribute different amounts toward the goal, so you may need to scan more or fewer than shown here. Be aware that dreg will be provoked by scanning even if they otherwise wouldn't attack you, so you'll need to defeat them first. To help with this, feel free to take advantage of the toxic containers scattered throughout Scarhide Camp. You can scan them from a distance, and doing so will cause them to release a harmful AoE that will damage enemies and players alike, so don't stand too close. While some mobs need an extra push, certain dreg in the area can be defeated using only the containers. The mission will complete automatically once you scan enough dreg. The last mission is further on, but there are still things to find before leaving Scarhide Camp. Look for a green teleporter that will take you into Exolab 22. As soon as you arrive inside, turn to your left and search the wall for an Elden Construct. Scanning this will give you some backstory about the lab as well as an achievement, more information than you require if this is the first Elden Construct you've found. There are two locked doors in the Exolab, but as a scientist, you'll be able to pass both of them just by scanning the door's controls. Make your way into the very back of the lab and you'll see a data cube trapped behind a force field, just out of your reach. To get to it, you need to complete the puzzle on the right side of the room by lighting up all three Exolab security panels at once. I would like to say that there is an intricate and complex pattern to pass along here, but on my run, I solved the puzzle by interacting with the middle panel first. Yep, that's it. If this is your first path puzzle, you'll earn the achievement Scientific Theory at this point, and the shield control panel in front of the data cube will become active. Interact with it to disperse the shield, leaving you and any other players in the area free to claim the cube. The last scientist mission can be found in the next area, the Megatech Gun Emplacement. Among the aggressive Megatech BattleBots that patrol this area, you will also see kneeling deactivated BattleBots. Use your ScanBot to repurpose these machines, turning them into hacked BattleBots that will fight nearby enemies until destroyed. This unlocks the analysis mission, Repurposed Bots. You'll need to scan three of them to complete the mission, but similar to the blood petals from earlier, you can continue to hack any deactivated bots you find just for fun or to help get through the area unscathed. Once complete, you'll be rewarded with a bag of Crimson Isle research materials and some path experience. Congratulations on unlocking the scientific secrets of Crimson Isle! Thanks for watching and see you next time!